Oh wait, we fucking recording? All right, sorry mate. Yeah, I reckon it was fucking up to the early 2000s. Wanted to keep in touch with me missus. I had to fucking pick up the phone and guess where she was. On the top of the fucking list was always the local pub. If she didn't fucking answer, mate, I don't know. It's how we lived back in those days. Back before smartphones and all that fucking fancy shit you kids carry around. <laughs> Alright, mate, I better be off. Love you and leave ya. Life before smartphones, you ask? <laughs> I can barely remember. Although, yes, I do remember a particular incident that happened in the early 1990s. I was going up to my apartment with my boyfriend at the time, Gregory. We were going to indulge in the pleasures, you know. And all of a sudden, when we passed, say, floor 30, I recall, the elevator just stopped. We tried to call for help, but no one would respond. And you know, I didn't have this trusty little phone right here. So we had to wait there for several hours, but we made the best of the time that we had together. Hi everyone, my name is Ralph Enos and today I'm going to be talking to you about life before smartphones. Well, you see, it was very difficult to be an investment banker in those days because, you know, deals, they come and go like the wind, the wind caressing a duck's back. So. If you're not constantly connected, like, well, back in those days I had a secretary. She would have to chase me down by bicycle, find me in the town, and report what was going down. It was bloody tough. Well, you see, back in those days, back in Canada, well, we didn't really have the smartphone technology yet, so as an investment banker, I would miss deals that would come and go like the rain on a duck's back. You see, back in those days, my secretary Lula, she'd have to get on that bike and she'd have to fucking track me down around town. That was very stressful for her because if she didn't find me within 15 minutes of a deal being announced, I would fire her, fire her ass immediately. So it's better for me and it's better for Lula that we have smartphones because now I can get announcements on my smartphone anywhere in the world. I could be in Kalgoorlie, which is in Australia. I could be in bloody Kentucky, watching the derby with the horses fucking galloping, you know. I could be anywhere. I could be on the goddamn moon with, with Elon. But if I miss a deal, I might as well be fucking dead. So, I thank God every day that we have smartphones. Have a good day. God bless.